Wow, I'm so- sorry you got in the way of your conversation, James. You- are you being the reason that people are like, analysis, stop talk, start game? This this is it. You held up those poor players just to talk about Finnish people. Man, it's wild. It's wild. It's wild. Highest. Wait, That's what it is, hold Lauren. on. Can I- Kusok in chat, which is, I'm pretty sure Navi's coach or manager. Are you the Kusok from... World of Tanks? I'm kind of curious. I should probably know that by now, but I think it is. Anyway, uh, just because Navi's kind of at the forefront of our minds, it's, it's you know, I, I can talk about it and it not be off topic. And I, I'll <laughs> bet on you guys today, don't worry. But, ooh, TSM, different drop? Question mark? It's, it's certainly somewhere new. I mean, given the circles where they've been, you'd have to go for, all right, well, it's been down south two out of three times. Let's, let's go pop lock and see if it goes towards them again. We shall see. First, you can see one player just lingering against TSMs, just watching for the cars, more importantly, maybe even the roadside. If this goes all the way up to the north, like super, super hard shift, TSM are just going to face... Okay. Not too far. Central. San Martin. It's not too bad. EIQ are a very, very aggro team, Lauren. I was about to say I'm wondering if this could be the ghost side. Knocking Wookiee like that puts someone on the res. Then push forward. As soon as we hop on with the camera, they're already at the doors. EIQ do not muck about. If they want to check a fight, they just push it, regardless of who you are, what you are. Oh. And the two for one nade banks off of the roof, finishes Wookiee, knocks Tommel, he's gone, and everything, everything that Tempers had has just been slung into the open. That's uh, a that's really a valuable player. compound. I mean, yeah. considering this right now um how the circle shifted that's a pretty valuable compound but you're right entropic don't need much of encouragement to actually like push these sort of things one knock like that and they'll be there but they kind of push this regardless they're super super aggressive when it comes to these things um they're kind of exciting to watch if i'm honest i i, I like them there again quite hit and miss in the overall landscape you know you wouldn't say they're gonna win every game but they're just kind of um I don't know. They're they're just a wild card, right? They're the team you don't want up against you because they'll just commit on these things, which is rough. And look at Pixel and Clip. They can't do anything now. They literally can't do anything right now. This is this is the position they're stuck in. It's like, okay, guess we're on the stairs. Guess we're getting aided. I'll go live in this little, I don't know, shack of a room for now. And you know they're going to push it. These guys are never going to stop pushing these sort of things. Smoke can go down. He can try and create a little bit of a room to breathe but they're there suffocating super super aggressive all these players and all these areas are still playable more than at the moment it, it's kind of a yeah it could go anywhere you you've you've got to be as central as possible strong positions if it does go to power northern lights face clan omicron tsm if it does go to the roadside ends if they can get in undamaged getting in unscanned at this point will be hella difficult yeah. As we can see from the Adepts, Fasco goes down, but as Fior acts as well, ends on the opposing side. They receive them with open arms. They say thank you very much. So, split between two teams. That also gives a bit of information that Navi are kicking it somewhere for Ents. Rustam Mar is in a very, 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 very bad position. Oh, the circle. Oh, good luck, observers. This is where it's going to get pretty hectic. So, I'm going to try and keep you up with this. Omicron is about to fight third party of the fight you're seeing on your screen. T Bone's coming in with the nades. This is El Giganton and Better Luck next time, but TSM has started their engagement towards Redline. That's over towards the west. Redline's trying to cross the road, and it's gotten <laughs> pretty poorly for them, all said and done. So, that's going to be a factor for them down the line. Now, this southern side has to move eventually. They can't stay here. That's going to play in Northern Lights, who are holding the edge of the circle. Liquid holding the east. The north Navi still have to make their play. Play as well. Better luck next time. I don't know how they're still alive, but I guess it's El Gigante who's been having a very poor performance. And again, it, 13 points overall. It ain't it, Chief. Navi on the move. They're going to try and shuffle further forward. They're up in the north. They've got to move south. But Rustamar is waiting on the low ground, and the other two from Ents are on the high ground. Rustamar could get some good vision on this. Now, Omicron kind are of cleaning up in the south. That's not to be too surprised by. They've been pretty much god here the whole time. Rustamar gets picked up by Navi. Again, it's going as we expect here. Now, is there a trade back from the other Ents players or no? It's actually Red Zone getting some fire. They're further towards the west. Faye's trying to pick up anyone they can from further away. And the teams who are currently secure seem safe. I want to look at Liquid's way in right now. Good 
jump observer. That's what I love to see. EIQ moving in from the north. They're the team that got past Tempest in the compound. They crushed it, they crashed it, and they moved out pretty cleanly. Now they might lose Novik here. They are. He's done, he's dead. Vestlox found Momi in the meantime. That's over in the northern portion. But Liquid might get a glimpse towards Na'Vi. You've got to be careful if you're Liquid because the terrain in front of you is not easy and you've got EIQ and Rage Your Edge, two pretty aggressive teams willing to fight, standing in your way. Liquid tech. The very small amount of cover that they have. They could pull the vehicles up here provided they got grenades and maybe try and flush out EIQ that are directly in front of them, but they have to have utility and gear to do so. That's still moving towards power. There is potential that goes to the road, and then we have the road fight from the uphill-downhill battles, but that's still pulling to power, in my opinion. Expect to see someone like Northern Lights commit all four players to the front building of power. Give them yeah. a big staple inside the central area of the circle, whether it goes to power or not. They can play off the back of the foothills. Raise your edge. Should be on red alert. All the utility we said would be committed Ooh, to what the IQ does. Gets him out the back of the car and now gives them something to play with. It's not much, but it's an avenue of approach. Vehicles left behind as well, so they can probably work off the back of it. The difficulty is they're making all this noise. People know their location. Rage Your Edge is on the opposing side of the road, setting up for Liquid's advancement. Navi yet to move. Red Zone yet to move. Tornado Energy directly in front. I think Liquid just hit the, the roadside. There's like this small little crest of a hill provided to it, tornado energy don't have los on them from their compound i honestly think they've just got to play roadside there's nowhere else to go i uh, i don't know how you play this you know what i mean like they've managed to get jeans across for liquid which is pretty impressive i think is who is it is jeans or someone else i'm not too sure but they've managed to get two players across the right side but now they're going to get the full force of navi sweeping through the east so they themselves can get across but Again, this is the fight I want to look at. It's Tornado Energy and Red Zone and Ents. This sort of, like, weird scuffle. Now, TSM can see part of this. But, yeah, Na'Vi... Oh, no. Senya's got full vision. They're on the bike. Here we go. Let's see if Liquid can join with the other two. K-Mind in charge. Just going to send that bike as best they can. Ibby's there, too. Here we go. Oh, God, no. K-Mind's off the back. Ibby might have just made it. Senya is looking, though. He's definitely seen the other players. There's no smokes down. They need to put that down real quick. And maybe they could consider a revive. K-Mine's not too far away, but also you're risking losing out on a player here. They're putting it. They're going for this. They want K-Mine back. But yeah, there comes the steel. Rage Rage getting very interested in what's going on. Navi are not in. Blue is moving them. They have to come over the crest of the hill, Lauren. Everybody has to stare towards them. If Liquid survived this, it would be a miracle. The only thing that really keeps them in this is Raise Your Edge. If Raise Your Edge keep just pounding bullets their way, then Team Liquid stays alive. Best up, moving up. Uh, don't know how much further he can really go given how many Liquid players are here. But remember, they used all their utility. Grenades, smokes, mollies, flashes. Everything got. was committed towards EIQ. The ones who haven't used the utility yet, well, it's now B. They can get some more off towards Liquid. That's an avenue of approach that they desperately need. Liquid are holding on by a very thin margin, and the third party is helping, and then some Rage Your Edge can see over Liquid, and they just see Na'Vi. So if Liquid can just stay alive for a second, they might be okay, but it depends if Rage Your Edge get aggressive. If Erdir and the boys want to push this, they're going to just completely wipe Liquid. So, because Liquid are so focused, obviously, on what's in front of them, there it is, like a knife in the back. Monkey comes around, Liquid were, there's nothing you could do. You, you are literally in between two very, very aggressive teams that need to find a way forward, Na'Vi. Couldn't cross over. You can see the only other team that's made it over really was Tornado Energy. They're down to three as well. No one from that north side is looking healthy here. Everyone struggled coming down. That's the, I guess, the, the, the danger of those hard shifts. It's, it's hard to play around. You gamble it on one side of the road. And I've got to say, the team I'm going to look at late, late game here, FaZe. They're not in the power grid, but they're on that very strong area around it. That is going to be a very, very hefty team going forward. Raise your edge or focus and finish off Navi. At least they will try. Besto falls. You know what? They might actually just sit here and commit to the blue. Playing out, be a nuisance. Yep, they do. They don't <laughs> give up any points. Both of them fall. Denies raise your edge. Anything. Nothing. See which one of these two teams come out of this. I think either of them will be approaching the final boss clean. Mentioned that building that Northern Lights were potentially going to commit themselves to on the 
front side or back side, whichever way you're looking at, of the power grid. And they can get all four in there and maybe just camp phase out, to be honest. Shiv Monkey Udia are running the side and working their way up, or worming their way up, or should I say, given the topography of the map, there is a bit of a dip that they can use to their advantage. And to slither on in, Ira gets spotty and burnt alive by Uber. Team's taking up residency in all four quadrants of the circle. Just be a bit of return fire back and forth. Tooling's down. Shiv's See if moving. anyone kind of sn sniffs at that. Yeah, the second we saw that one, Shiv got a bit of a jump further afield. I wonder if Faze has seen it, though, because two of them are actually laid down behind the rock, maybe just to bait one of these two teams into the engagement. But what is kind of scary is how close all four of them are towards the central mm -hmm. point. It's, th it's in the middle of the road. It's completely exposed. I very much doubt we'll get to that point, but it now becomes a game of the rocks. If you've got a couple of rocks on your side and in your favor, you can use that. You can remove yourself from vision, work off the back of it as hard cover. And everything that Northern Lights had has actually been taken away from them. That's how it goes. Now you've got to look at the wrap cover we have here. Razor Edge actually not in a bad spot. With Shiv and Monkey moving up, that's not bad. I'm wondering how much Tornado Energy could see of this, but you're already seeing the benefit of those two positions. Yep, Shiv's down low, but he's already slowed down Batulins. That takes away the IGL, that takes away the voice, but he does get to watch over the other players and then call it as a third. Now, oh dear, smoke down, flash down, using all that utility. You've got to keep it building, keep that pressure high. Now, this is what I was expecting. The vision from Tornado Energy towards Razor Edge was always going to be quite strong. This little dip they've got, that one little run-up, very, very solid. But look at the team who's not involved in any of this. Phase. They're waiting for the late game. They're waiting for everyone else to clear the battlefield. And then they'll play it back in. But let's see if they've waited too long or if it's just right. Monkey goes down. We're down to just three teams. Tornado Energy starts to focus, but it's Phase starting to wind up. They're starting to get back into the battle here. They're starting to show their hand. Uber at the forefront. Gustav's there. It's Fuzz Face to get the kills, and we're down to just two teams. Northern Lights unable to convert it in the final moments, but nice utility being used now as Tornado Energy are trying to utilize this cover. But look at those smokes. Electrifying the battlefield. Quizzy finds Uber. 80 got Aliag. So it's a one for one trade out. But Tornado Energy were down to three players, so they're actually only on two right now. The smokes can only last so long as it looks like they've used all of that utility. And creeping towards this, Uber is almost at the central point. So FaZe actually have the better step. Gustav fans Aliag, but it's traded back in. This is this is going tip for tat. This is going all the way. That's an angle, though. Look at that tiniest gap he's playing with here. And now example, left in the 1v2. He's got down 80. He's flushed Uber, but the spray is saved in the end from Gustav. Nine kills, and FaZe's positioning was held till the very end. Very smart play from FaZe.